uh, thank, thank you, thank you, John. Uh, thank you, Brad. Thank you to all of the the team at CAF who do such an amazing job of of making Giving Tuesday happen, not just here in the UK, but also uh, the team in Russia. Done an amazing job. You you might not immediately think that Giving Tuesday in Russia was going to be a huge success, but actually it's one of the most successful uh, activations we've seen around the whole world. And the team there, led by Masha, has done an extraordinary job of taking Giving Tuesday to scale. So I'm just so pleased to be here with all of you today. I have to say it's slightly surreal. Um, as you can tell by my accent, I'm not a native New Yorker. So I am, I am, I am back home, and I couldn't be happier to be back home uh, seven years on, looking at what has been achieved by Giving Tuesday. Um, and, and, and I think when you think about Giving Tuesday, the extraordinary thing about how it has grown you know, we tell this story sometimes, we kind of gave it away, right? We gave it away and as if by magic, then it started to surge and move around the world. But the truth of it was, it wasn't like we released it and then it just ran happily around the world and did everything it needed to do. It succeeded to the extent it has because people kept stepping up for this project and leading it somewhere else. It was a different kind of leadership that made Giving Tuesday work. It wasn't that we gave up on leadership. We just exercised leadership in a different way. And my colleague, Asha Curran, who is the CEO of Giving Tuesday as of last week. She took on the, the overall leadership of Giving Tuesday. She more than anyone has shaped the global direction of this. And when she talks about Giving Tuesday leadership, she says it's not just the way, the thing we see with Giving Tuesday leaders isn't just how Giving Tuesday leaders succeed, but we see how people succeed in a new power world. You think about what makes people good at Giving Tuesday, right? What's good about all of you bringing together communities around the things that matter? What's good about CAF that coalesces this incredible community in one room? What people who lead Giving Tuesday do well is they, number one, leave their ego at the door. This is not an organization made up of superstars, right? It's an organization made up of superconductors, people who can actually shine the light of other people more effectively. It's full of entrepreneurial people. Giving Tuesday doesn't work without entrepreneurs. It doesn't work without people who say, I've got this new idea. We did a survey which showed that 80% of organizations on Giving Tuesday were trying something new. So this is an organization which is full, Giving Tuesday as a movement, it's full of entrepreneurs. It's full of people who by necessity collaborate. Right? Giving Tuesday isn't about one cause, it's about all of the causes. One of the great myths that all of you have helped to puncture with Giving Tuesday is the idea that the charity world is some kind of Hunger Games, right? where we're all <laughs> fighting against each other for the same precious resources. Instead, we can flip that dynamic, right? and we can flip the dynamic and actually prove that there are moments that we can grab the narrative. And I think of all the achievements of Giving Tuesday, and I know we'll hear about some case studies tonight of things that have gone well, of all the achievements of Giving Tuesday, the one which strikes me particularly now is it's proven something about what people are capable of if they lead in a new way. Right? Giving Tuesday wasn't one organization imposing its will upon the world. It was lots of good people, and there are 150 of them right here tonight, who grabbed this idea and took it and just made it that bit stronger. Time and time again, people grabbed it and made it that bit stronger. And this movement now is in uh, 60 countries officially. It, it touches now 100 countries all around the world. And in every single one of those countries, there's a group of people just like you who are getting together about this time of year, and they're working out how they this year are going to put Giving Tuesday <coughs> on the map. And that matters for two reasons. It matters, of course, because all the good things you're going to hear about, all of the organizations that will benefit, right? The, the pounds raised, the volunteer hours given, the things donated. All of those things will matter for all of us as, as organizations. I run an organization in New York, we'll be thinking about our own organization. But Giving Tuesday proves something else too. It proves in this world where we see these kinds of, like, our whole life now is these huge spikes, right? These huge spikes of anxiety, this breaking news, these things that grab our attention and make us feel like we don't matter and we don't count. We have this world right now which is so connected with technology, but has become disconnected in human terms. That's the great irony of our age, is we're connected by technology and disconnected in human terms. And in that world, we have an obligation, I think, to try and work out how we can tell a different story about what it means to be part of a community, what it means to be a human being. So as we think about Giving Tuesday this year, the global context, we're going to think about Giving Tuesday where geopolitically there's fear, there's concern, there's worry, there's anxiety. We don't trust our neighbours, we don't trust our institutions, we don't trust our governments. In that context, it couldn't be more important in my mind have some kind of moment where we recognize that no matter what divides us around the world, no matter what our politics, what our background, what our opinions, there are some things that we all share. And one of the things that we all share is capacity to care for one another. 
And if there's one thing at the heart of Giving Tuesday, it's that capacity to care for one another. Uh, and I'm so grateful to all of you. And on behalf of, of myself, on behalf of Asha Curran and all of the Giving Tuesday team, I want to thank all of you for what you've done in years past, but most of all, what you'll do this year. Because I think this year is going to be a very big year for Giving Tuesday. Thank you.